If you're a small YouTuber, you're trying to get monetized fast, you like to get 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of watch time, follow these steps. So let's get into it. With this video I uploaded, it got a little bit over 15,000 views, 618 hours of watch time, 422 subscribers in less than 26 days. You follow these steps, I'm going to show you how to grow your channel. Video here got 16,000 views in the first 16 days. 761 hours of watch time. 634 subscribers. So, let's get into it. Alright y'all, this is where all the magic happens. So, if you're trying to get a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time, here it goes. First step, you're gonna start out with the details. You're gonna add a title. You wanna make a good eye-catchy title. You don't wanna make a title that you already have seen on YouTube that'll hurt your channel. You won't get too many views. So try to make a standout-ish title so I put something like try this and make $216 in four hours now your title is going to be based on what category you are doing your videos in so it might be similar to this or it might be different whether you're doing cooking fitness uh, blogging automotive it's going to be kind of different from what I put here but you want to put something that stands out. You don't want to put a new, a title that you're already seen on a video on YouTube. So let's take a look at the title description. A catchy title can help you hook viewers when you create a video title. It's a good idea to include keywords. Your audience is more likely to use looking for your video. So try to make a catchy title. Let's take a look at the description. Writing a description with keywords can help the viewers find your video more easily through the search. You can give an overview of your video and place keywords in the beginning of the description. So follow those steps there. In my description, I put in this video, you will learn how to make $216 in four hours a day with your phone. This is an easy, super easy side hustle. Excuse me. This is a super easy side hustle. And I put a few tags. So I put the most three tags. I don't try to fill the thing out with a whole bunch of different tags. I put three at the maximum. So let's take a look and stroll down. It says here, thumbnail. Once you upload your video, it's going to give you three different dump thumbnails you can choose from or you can create your own i'm pretty sure you already know how to create your own thumbnails if not i can show you how all you gotta do leave me a comment down below so the next one is a playlist to be honest with you i don't put anything in the playlist section and with the playlist section it's just that when someone get onto your channel they will see a lot of your videos up front. And they have a more chance of, you know, watching different videos that you have created. I don't put anything there. So if they go to my channel, they just see a few of them. They won't see all of them. Okay, it says audience. This video is set not for made, made for kids. So when I click the button, it is going to ask you, is this video made for kids or you can check a box that says this video is not made for kids i put not made for kids if you put your video is made for kids people will not be able to leave you a, a comment you won't be able to see any comments and sometimes you might not collect no money if you monetize so let's scroll a little bit further down You click on show more. 
It's going to show you more options. Paid promotions. There's a box where you can check it. But I'm not getting sponsored by anybody or endorsements. So I leave that blank. Scroll a little further down. It says automatic chapters. The box is automatically checked. So I leave it like that. I do not uncheck it. Following these steps will help you reach a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time. Stroll a little bit further down. It says featured places. The box is automatically clicked. So I leave it there. I don't uncheck it. Keep it checked. Then the next box says allow automatic con concepts. So I leave that checked. I don't do anything with it. The next box is for your tags. As you can see here, I have a few different tags. I'm not going to bore you guys to death with all the tags that I have. And your tags going to be a little bit different from my tags. So fill this in as much as you can. They give you up to 500 characters. I would say put in as many tags as you can. That will help viewers, you know, come across your video. It says here, language and captions certification. I leave those two blank. I don't put anything there. It says recording date and location. I leave those blank, but you can fill them in if you want to, but I leave them blank. The next one is license. It says standard YouTube license. I keep that checked because if you do not check it or if you put something different, you're giving the other creators permission to use your video. If by you keeping it clicked, you're not giving anyone permission to use your video. If they do, you can put a copyright strike on them. And if they're monetized, you can get their money. And the most important part, you're going to see two box below. Allow embedding publish to subscription feed and notify subscribers. You want to make sure that one is clicked. Publish to subscription feed and notify subscribers. Therefore, it will automatically notify all your subscribers. Keep that one. It's most important. A few videos when I first started out, I would not click that box. So a lot more people didn't see it. Scroll down. It says shorts remixing. Allow videos and audio remixing. Keep that checked. It's going to help you out. We're gaining more views and more subscribers. Let's go down. Category. Now, I put education. There's uh, different topics you can put. Audio and vehicles. Comedy. Education. Entertainment. Gaming. How to and style. Music. And more. So, depending on what type of videos you're creating, will determine what you put there. So, mine's going to be education. Next box, it says type. I put how to. There's more options you can choose from. They have a list of, they have a list that you can choose from. So, depending on your videos, you know, Determine what you're going to put here in this box here. But make sure you fill these out step by step correctly in order to get more views and more subscribers. Make sure I click how to. All right, we're going to stroll a little further down. The next box says problems. Me, myself, I don't put anything there. I leave that blank. Now we're going to scroll through. 
academic systems. I put United States, because that's where I'm located. Next one below that, level. I put beginner. They have a list of sections you can put there. Beginner, advanced, elementary school, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and more. So you choose which one you want to put there, but I put mine as beginner. So mine is beginner friendly. It says exam courses or standards. I leave that blank. None. Okay, the next one down below that, comments and ratings. It says, choose if, excuse me, say choose if and how you want to show your comments. So by clicking this button, you will be able to see your comments. If you check the one below that off, you will not see any of your comments. Now with the YouTube, people may leave you comments, but you might not see all of them. I know sometimes I check my comments and I don't see all of them. But that's just how YouTube is. Okay, now the last one here is sort by. I put I put top, but you can put top or newest. So you know what? Click newest. It's better off to put newest. So let's go over to the second page. Video elements. You can add subtitles and end screen. It's important to add end screens. So when you add an end screen, it's going to show your next video or any related video that you have created to your viewers at the end. And before your video actually ends, they can click on your video and see another one of your videos. That way you can get more views and more subscribers. Let's click next. Okay, this is the verification section. They pretty much checking to see if you have any copyright issues before they publish your video. It states here, no copyright issues found. So we're gonna go ahead and upload this video to YouTube. Now you get three options. You can keep this video private, unlisted, or public. Since we want to upload it, we're gonna put it up to public. Once you hit, once you um, excuse me, once you hit publish, your video will be uploaded to YouTube. So let's go ahead and publish this video, and that's it. The video is uploaded to YouTube. It's quick, it's easy, it's simple. So once you to, uh, do these steps at a time, fill them out, you're going to get more subscribers and more views. That's all I have for you guys in this video. Hit me up on my next one.